Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday the 2nd of November. BJP Lampoon's Opposition Alliance as Nitish Kumar blasts Congress. Pakistan starts rounding up undocumented migrants as deadline ends. And Bhutan appoints interim government ahead of national election. And now for all the details. After Bihar's Chief Minister Nitish Kumar vented frustration with Congress for ignoring the INDI Alliance goals and instead focusing on upcoming assembly polls, leaders of the ruling BJP took a dig at the opposition unity and urged Congress leader Rahul Gandhi to launch an Indi Jodo Yatra. Indian National Developmental Inclusive Alliance ka gathan kiya gaya, iska naam karan kiya gaya hai. अब ये तो हो ही गया तेजी से हो लेकिन अभी तो काम ज्यादा नहीं हो रहा अभी पांच जगह विधानसभा का चुनाव है कई कांग्रेस पार्टी तो उसी में ज्यादा इंटरेस्टेड है तो अभी तो इसको हम लोग कांग्रेस पार्टी को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए हम लोग सब एक दूसरे से काम कर रहे थे लेकिन अभी उनको कोई इस सब चीज की चिंता है नहीं BJP's Shehzad Punawala pointed at the inherent contradictions within the bloc that have come to the fore much to the embarrassment of the opposition. He said the alliance has no mission or vision like Prime Minister Narendra Modi has and they just have corruption and division against each other. This is a tukde tukde alliance and yet another evidence or proof of that has emerged. I think Rahul ji would be better off not doing any more Bharat Jodo Yatras because Sardar Patel has already united India. He should start Indi Jodo Yatra. Five states including Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Telangana, Chhattisgarh and Mizoram will go to polls from 7th to 30th of November while the counting of votes will take place on December 3rd. A blanket of toxic haze covered New Delhi on Thursday as air quality in India's national capital region remained in very poor category for a fifth consecutive day. According to government agencies suffer, the AQI breached 300 mark in several areas of the city, indicating severe level of pollution that can affect healthy people and those with existing ailments. The Delhi government has announced a ban on the entry of diesel buses in the Union Territory and said construction activities will be halted if the situation persists. I running from Delhi here, but today I have a lot of smog here. और जो रनिंग करने में प्रॉब्लम तो हो ही रही है जैसे लग रहा है कि धूल एकदम मुंह के अंदर जा रही है और ठीक नहीं है सेहत के लिए लोगों के सेहत के लिए अच्छा नहीं है ये Meanwhile the air quality in Mumbai also hovered around alarming levels casting a shadow over the ongoing cricket world cup India's cricket board BCCI had earlier announced a ban on firework displays during the remaining matches of the tournament as a measure to combat pollution मतलब पहले से तो ज़्यादा ही है क्योंकि अभी आज जब सुबह हम यहाँ पे आए ट्रेन से तो फॉग बहुत ज़्यादा था मतलब अच्छे से दिख नहीं रहा था पर बाकी वैसे कुछ दिक्कतें नहीं आई पर इनिशिएटिव तो अच्छा है बीसी जगह फायर क्रैकर्स वगैरह अवॉइड करने चाहिए मोस्टली मैचेस वगैरह के बाद तो सही डिसीजन है and as the deadline for undocumented foreign nationals to leave Pakistan voluntarily has concluded, authorities have begun rounding off Afghan refugees in the country. A report. Authorities in Pakistan have begun rounding of undocumented foreigners, most of them Afghans refugees, as midnight deadline for them to leave got over on Thursday. Some of those ordered to leave have spent decades in Pakistan with no connection in their native country. We would be strangers in Afghanistan, Rizwan Khan, a third generation from an Afghan immigrant family said. Rizwan and several others like him belong to family of Afghan immigrants who have fled Afghanistan during its decades of internal conflict since the late 1970s. UNHRC has warned Pakistan's planned expulsion of more than a million undocumented foreign national risks triggering a human rights catastrophe. <laughs> Uh, 
de ma mesele ma pinze salve ca la umar da poze pinze salve ca la umar ca munga dalta pinze salve ca munga wala de rus wak ke munga dalta pakistan ta ra gali asui munga afganistan ta tili ni afganistan ta asui munga wada mesele munga paidaish dalta da se akui wada munga dalta ra gali munga sarai da suluku ke da baadai ta ugura dia ka ta ugura da gunt de salate pa munga jur ko as you know that afganistan afganistan is going through a severe humanitarian challenges uh, including human rights challenges uh, for women and girls and the government of pakistan is implementing this plan uh, and we believe that uh, uh, such plans will have serious implications for all those who have been displaced and uh, who may face serious uh, uh, protection risk upon their return islamabad has taken a hardline stance against afghan refugees claiming that they have been behind military attacks smuggling and other crimes in the south asian nation according to pakistan's interior ministry 140322 people have already left voluntarily Moving on one year has passed since the devastating floods hit parts of Gilgit Baltistan but the flood victims are still awaiting rehabilitation and assistance from the Pakistani government they lament with the onset of winters their hardship is bound to increase a report Misery of people of Gilgit Baltistan does not seem to end as residents have complained the roads and bridges which had washed out during the devastating floods in July last year have still not been repaired while they have not received any aid from the Pakistan government local said scores of flood victims are still living in tents and with the onset of winter season their hardship is bound to increase They wonder where did the funds Islamabad received for floods have gone, highlighting corruption and ignorance in the system. बाहर से इतना बड़ा वो फन आया इंदात के मत में लेकिन सलाम तस्लीम तक कुछ भी नहीं पहुंचा। समझ नहीं आ रहा है कि इतना फन कहां पे गया, किसके कहां पे खर्च हुआ। सर्दी का अभी आगे सर्दी आ रही है। टेंटू में रहते हैं। इसी तरह जो दूसरी सलाब जो छोटी-मोटी सलाबें आई इधर शहर के लम्हे और भी घराने जो है डिजास्टर उसमें के जिन में आए وہ بھی اس وقت متاثر ہے بس ان جوس نے جو دیا تو وہ دیا باقی حکومت پاکستان کی طرف سے نہ ہونے کے برابر ریزیڈنٹس اف دی اوکیپائڈ ریجن ہیو لانگ کمپلینٹ اف ڈسکریمنیشن بائی اسلام آباد اکیوزنگ دی پاکستان گورنمنٹ اف ریپیٹڈلی ٹرننگ اے بلائنڈ آئی ٹو دیئر پرابلمز دی اکیوز پاکستان ڈز ناٹ گرانٹ دیم اینی پولیٹیکل رائٹس اینڈ ریپرزنٹیشن بٹ کنٹینیوز ٹو ایکسپلائٹ دی ریجن اینڈ اٹس ریسورسز Bhutan's king on Wednesday appointed a nine-member interim government to oversee the Himalayan nation's parliamentary election to be held within three months. The free vote will be the fourth to be held since democracy was established in Bhutan in 2008, a country of fewer than 800,000 people nestled between China and India. Bhutan dissolved its 47-member National Assembly this week at the end of its five-year term. The interim government will be headed by the chief justice of the country and will enable the election commission to hold free and fair elections. Moving on, Sri Lanka's key inflation rate rose to 1.5% in October from 1.3% a month ago, the statistics department has informed. The food prices fell 5.2% while prices of non-food items climbed slightly to 4.9% after rising 4.7% in September. The crisis hit Sri Lankan economy stabilized to some degree after the government finalized a 2.9 billion dollars IMF bailout in March. But targets under the program have added to inflation woes. The cabinet has approved increasing value added tax from 15 to 18% from January to shore up public revenue which has fallen short of targets set by the IMF. The move could push inflation further. A die-hard fan in India's Tamil Nadu has dedicated a temple to Indian mega star Rajni Khan. Being an ardent fan of the superstar from his childhood, Karthik, a retired paramilitary force staff, has erected a statue of Rajni Khan weighing over 250 kg in the temple. He says Rajni always seemed like God to him. The temple boasts a collection of Rajni Khan's posters and banners along with pictures of his parents and Hindu god Lord Ganesha. Yeah. சூப்பர் ஸ்டார் ரஜினி மேலே எனக்கு ஒரு தனி ஈர்ப்பு உண்டு அப்படியே அப்பாவுக்கும் பிடிக்கும் இல்லை அம்மாவுக்கும் பிடிக்கும் அப்புறம் நானும் அவர் படங்களை தான் சின்ன வயதுலேருந்தே பார்த்துட்டு இருந்தேன் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா வேறு எந்த தமிழ் படமும் பார்க்கறதில்ல அதுக்கப்புறம் நான் ஜாப் கிடச்சி பேராமிலிட்ரி போர்ஸில் ஒர்க் பண்ணேன் அப்பயுமே தலைவர் படம் ரிலீஸ் ஆச்சுன்னா மொதல் நாள் முதல் ஷோ வந்து பார்த்துருவேன் ரெகுலராக பார்த்துட்டே இருப்பேன் எனக்கு எப்படின்னா தலைவர் வந்து ஒரு கடவுளாகவே தெரிஞ்சார் 
தலைவருக்கு கோடிக்கணக்கான ரசிகர்கள் இருக்காங்க ஆனால் அந்த ரசிகர்கள் நம்ம தனித்துவமாக தெரியணும் தலைவருக்கு ஏதாவது ஒன்று பண்ணணும்னு நினச்சேன் Rajnikanth also known as Shivaji Rao Gaikwad is a former bus conductor who is arguably one of India's biggest movie star. In southern India, devoted fans worship film and TV stars like gods, erecting huge statues of actors which are bathed in milk as part of prayer rituals for a movie success. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.